Hello Providence College Hockey fans, welcome to a brand new edition of This Week in Friars Hockey presented by Dunkin Donuts. I'm Nick Rojas. It was an exciting weekend in Miami of Ohio as the Friars took two against the Red Hawks, including a last minute goal by Casper Bjorkvist to cap off Saturday night's win. Today we're joined by Coach Nate Lehman, plus KJ Hammond has a preview of this weekend's matchup against the Boston College Eagles. Let's start the show. The Friars were looking to start off the season on the right foot when they played a pair of games against Miami of Ohio. In the first game on the weekend, the Friars had a sizable offensive advantage, scoring first and having a 10-2 shot advantage before the Red Hawks went on a pair of power plays. Ryan Tate had a goal and an assist on the evening, including his assist on freshman Greg Prince's first collegiate goal. Josh Wilkins also chipped in with the third goal, while Hayden Hockey had 31 saves on the evening. 3-1 was the final. The next night, the Friars were looking for the clean sweep, but the Red Hawks were not going to take this one lying down. That being said, the pressure of having to get off to a good start may have cost them, as they committed a five-minute major just 26 seconds into the game. The Friars converted twice on the power play, with Vimal Sukumaran and Eric Foley scoring goals with a man advantage. The Red Hawks would tie things up later on in the game, but with under a second to go, Casper Bjorkvist cleared the crease for a goal to earn their second win in a row. The Friars won 3-2. Join now as we are every week with the head coach of the men's ice hockey team, Coach Nate Lehman. Coach, two wins on the road against Miami of Ohio. What did you see out of the team? Well, I saw a lot of character. I was, I was very happy about that. Um, I thought we worked really hard. Um, and I thought we, uh, I th it's not an easy place to sweep. I mean, we, we haven't done it in uh, any other time we've gone out there. And so it was a good sweep for the program. Um, a great, great game Saturday night. We found a way to win it on the, on the last second goal there. So. It was a big, big weekend, uh, a lot of good plays being made. I was really impressed with our young defensemen. Um, I was a bit worried going into it, um, but I, they, you know, Ben Mirages played very well, Tommy Davis played very well, and Jeff Baum played well. So that was a big plus for us. You talk about those newcomers there. Getting into the mix a little bit, what did you see out of them specifically? Well, I mean, I saw a lot of poise. That's that's what you want to see. You want to see them, you know, basically uh, not being not the moment not being too big for them. You know that they're going out there, they have a lot of confidence and play their game. And and those games are a lot. You know, the games are usually a little faster than practice. Um, we try to throw a lot of speed at at, at our young D in our, our training camp and I think it prepared them pretty well. I think that uh, there wasn't anything in the game that they hadn't seen in practice, so that was good. Um, Greg Prince played spectacular out there. Um, you know, had, had a nice goal. Bailey Conger played outstanding out there. Um, you know, his injury is really going to hurt us here uh, with him being out of lineup for six to eight weeks. And, and Jason O'Neill led us in plus minus. So our three freshman forwards um, played excellent also. So, Coach, you talk about that poise early on. You talk about the game not feeling too big. You're on the penalty kill 14 times on the road. Obviously, not a situation you want to be in, but you were successful over the weekend. What did you see out of special teams there? Well, our penalty kill came up huge. Uh, Hayden Hockey played excellent on the weekend, and uh, when he was called upon on the on the penalty kill, he was very good. I thought we had very good pressure on the kill. Uh, I thought for the most part our forecheck was pretty good. We started to get on our heels, and and we gave up our line once easily. In the, in the second game on the penalty kill four check and it cost us that was the one goal that we gave up so um, now we don't want to go to the penalty kill that much but you're on the road it's the first weekend of the year you're going to get dinged I mean you know that that's just the way it is and um, so but we got it through that and we found a way to win the specialty teams. Now you're welcoming a Boston College team that has not been in Schneider Arena for two years. Uh, last year, a little bit tough generating some offense. What's going to be the key to turn things around this year in this week's matchup? Well, having them in our building is going to be big. Like you said, I mean, we finished two points out of first place last year, and we, and we didn't have them in our building. So uh, I did mention that to the guys, that you have to take advantage when you, when you have top five teams in your building. I think... Uh, you know, of those top four teams last year, we only had two home games. And so we have to take advantage of these games. Um, we, have to get, we have to get a lot of traffic, a lot of pucks on their goaltender and some good screens. We were practicing a lot of that stuff yesterday and um, we'll be shorthanded. We're gonna be out without a couple, big, uh, couple of our key forwards, but at the end of the day, it's a great opportunity for other guys to step up. All right, coach, thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Nick. For a preview of the Boston College Eagles, we send it down now to KJ Hammond. KJ? 
For the Friars home opener, they welcome in 2017 Hockey East regular season champions, the Boston College Eagles. Now the Eagles are actually the youngest team in the nation, but they do pack a punch, especially their young stud in net, the goaltender Joseph Wall, with a 977 save percentage that's sixth best in the nation and second best in the Hockey East. And if you remember, these Friars didn't get a chance to put the Eagles at home. They played one on the road and another one up in Boston for Frozen Fenway. So Providence is definitely looking forward to opening up in front of their fans who are going to bring the noise. That's it for your scouting report. Back to you, Nick. Thank you so much, KJ. That's going to just about do it for today's edition of the show. As always, a big thank you to our guest, head coach Nate Lehman. Sunday evening's game is at 5 p.m. Limited tickets are still available for you to catch the game right here at Schneider Arena. Of course, if you can't make it out, you can always watch the game on Friars.com or listen to it on the radio. Of course, if you can't make it out, make sure to follow along with the Friars on social media. Head to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all the posts, pictures, updates, and more. Thank you so much for watching This Week in Friars Hockey, presented by Dunkin' Donuts. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.